What's up guys, so this is message 6, and let's go into prayer before we get started. Heavenly Father, just thank you for this morning, Lord, thank you for what you're doing in our life. Lord, thank you for the peace that you give as we draw near to you and you draw near to us as we continue to read your word and have some the understanding that we need in our everyday life as it is the truth and as you are helping us get and guiding us to get through different issues that we're going through. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And as we, I was thinking uh, this morning as getting myself together, and the first, first thing that popped up was um, depression. You know, anybody that has depression, you know, like, it, um, it affects your way of living. It affects your way of thinking and, and different things. And then with, like, with my life, like, I suffered with depression for a, a long, long time. And I, I, it gets to me like a little bit, but not as much like it used to. Um, the more that I drew more to Jesus and the more he has helped me and, and to realize how amazing that I am and how amazing things that he put in my life and to help me grow. And when we realize, take the time out to look at the beautiful things that we have around us and we start to re realize that we are stronger than, we are stronger than depression, we are stronger than anxiety, we are stronger than all the different mental mental illness that this that tries to take over and I'm not saying that you stop taking medicine or anything but as we draw near to to Jesus and draw near to him that his guidance will help us and that true love and because we're too amazing to stop living, we're too amazing to allow the our uh, allow depression to to take over our life. Because when we draw near to Him, it, and there there is freedom in Him. And just like the woman with issue of blood, and what happened. She had that issue for 12 years and she reached out, trusted in the word to have that freedom. Because those 12 years, like we can have so many things going through our mind and we be trying to figure out what else to do. But at that moment, she heard the word of God through the son of God and it pierced her heart enough to to believe and to have freedom and dealing with anything in our life any issues that we're going through we can have that freedom as we continue to trust in the Lord and trust in what he came for. That all men, that his desire that all men be saved. That, that, that uh, I'm getting tongue tied. That God desire that we all be saved and he don't want to see nobody perish. And like with depression, 
what happened, it, it, it turns into suicide. And we're too amazing to even go that route because I've been through that route before. I know the struggle trying to fight through and to fight and to fight and to fight and to to try to see the good that's left inside of you. And I've been there before. And the more that I have got closer to God and closer to Jesus, he helped. And through the word, it helped me to realize I have amazing things around me. But when we at our lowest point, it's it's hard to realize that because what and because we are we get stuck in our mind. And like me, I'm a hard thinker, and sometimes, most of the time, like sometimes, I, I, like you end up getting stuck in your mind at times, thinking about stuff too much. And we're too amazing to get stuck in our mind. We're too amazing to 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 not. We're too amazing to stop living. And if you're dealing with any issues like depression, anxiety, and all that, and God will help us. And as he helped me, he can help you to realize how how amazing you are. Because we'll have, he created us, we are from his image and likeness. And he know every detail about us. And and why not go to, go to him? You know what I mean? They already know the details about us. Yeah, our parents know, you know what I mean? They, they, they're learning... You know what I mean? As we are a baby and learning as we get older, then we go on and learn about our life. But with the Heavenly Father, He knows already. He knows us before we was formed in our mother's womb. And... As we come to him for guidance and to help us to have that freedom to live again and to, and as we not allow these things to distract us from his love. And I hope this encourages you. Because you're you're too amazing to allow depression to take over your life. That goes for me. That goes for anybody else that's that suffered with depression. And that suicide is not the answer. Suicide. I say it again. Suicide is not the answer. You're too amazing to even think about that route. Because I've been there. I've been there, I know, through, it, it just brings more pain, and I love you, God loves you, peace, and give Jesus another chance in your life, and watch the sunshine brighten in your life. When you give him a chance again to help you in your darkest moments and to and just reach out to him. Because he loves you. Peace. God bless.